Junior Doctors. Welcome back to Junior Doctor Fiona Chow's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss the new Alzheimer's drug that was approved by the FDA. So, and also why it is causing so much controversy. Okay, so first of all, let's discuss how it works. So according to a CNN article, as it has mentioned by Abarashed of Michigan, he said that this is the first antibody directed treatment for Alzheimer's disease that targets the main possible cause of the disease, which many feel is related to the deposition and accumulation of a protein called amyloid beta. As I have discussed before in another video, I'll link it up here, um, amyloid beta and the plaque that amyloid causes in the brain is what is the main cause of Alzheimer's disease on a molecular level. So this drug, as it can be seen, it just goes straight to the main cause, main molecular cause of Alzheimer's and tries to break it down. And um, in previous studies, it is shown to be effective of kind of um, lowering the amount of class in the brain. However, it is still causing controversy even after the FDA has approved of this drug, of the prescription of this drug. And let's see why. So first of all, medical experts do say that it does help with the amyloid plaques. However, in most in studies done by the FDA, first study showed no improvements at all after taking the drug. However, the second study, it does show a 22% effectiveness of improving the cognitive decline. So that means the um, memory of the patient does improve by 22%. However, does the patient actually recognize that? Would that really make a huge difference? That is what um, the other side of the debate is saying. So there have been times that um, the FDA, some administrators have disagreed with the FDA's, I, FDA's official decision. However, it's really, really rare. And in this case, there have been many, many administrators who disagreed with the decision of the FDA. So that is also why it's creating that much controversy. And another thing to be noted is that this drug isn't something that would increasingly improve the patient's cognitive functions. In fact, it is given to patients that are only in the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. And even the medical experts said that they wouldn't prescribe the drugs to um, patients who have been suffering from Alzheimer's disease for a long time. So that shows that even though it is actually worth the price tag of $4,312 per infusion, so with the annual cost being $56,000 for high dose, it wouldn't really make that much of a difference. So that is also why not many doctors would prescribe it to their patients. Okay, so let's stop the discussion for today. And remember to drop any ideas or questions you might have in the comment section below. And remember to eat healthy, exercise, and enjoy life. Thank you so much for watching and hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you and see you next time.